what's up everybody welcome back to another mullet man episode just rolled into arizona drove through the night last night and ben sandal and his father-in-law are waiting for me at the trailhead i drew a coveted coos deer tag in arizona, here in arizona and uh if you remember me last year i came out here for over-the-counter archery and missed a giant coos deer buck so i'm back for redemption five points i spent on this tag but this is a probably one of the best coos deer units there is in arizona is what ben sandal tells me so i'm about 20 minutes from him you can see the mountains in the background we're going into those mountains and we are spike camping for the next few days so show you what i got in my pack when we get to the trailhead I gotta pack it up and then we're hiking in so drove straight through the night hiking in this morning we may have a buck killed tonight we'll see what happens but i can't wait to get up there see what we can find maybe see some bears too but number one goal is find a big coos deer buck and uh get her done so we'll see you guys at the trailhead see what ben sandal has to say and start hiking all right guys we got some jets going over us but finishing packing up got enough water and food for a couple days anyway and uh we're gonna start making a hike how far has it been so, so anyway minus the jets flying over us sorry about that i'm pretty much packed gotta get the gun out not super heavy i gotta add a few more waters but uh, we're ready. A couple mile hike in. Two and a half miles. Wow, that is two and a, two and a half miles. It's not. I know y'all can't hear anything, but we're about to head in. I'll catch up with you on the trail. We're looking at, oh, probably 45 pounds. We got Ben, we got Ben's father-in-law. What's up? And we got heavy packs. So, let's get it. Let's get it, dude. Oh yeah. Just checking the old Onyx. Seeing where we're at. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, we're only about a sixth of the way there. Doing good. Sweet. So, try not to show where we're at. The blue dot is us, the X is where we're going to. Hope y'all can't see any of those names. So, this is a great walk though. We got a trail to walk on. There are some boot prints, but Y'all heard some shots this morning? Mm -hmm. Yep. So hopefully those guys shot a 20 incher and got out of here. We'll go up there and shoot the 120. That's right. That's right. Well, backup plan if somebody's camping on that knob, we'll go to that knob. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even check to see which way we <laughs> needed to go. Whoops. Okay, we want to stay straight. So guys, three hours later and we're pretty much peaked out. Gonna drop camp and start glassing. Ben's down here with his father-in-law. We're up here on this. I think they're gonna meet us up here. Set up our tents and uh, just glass the rest of the day. Hopefully, hopefully turn up a big buck. And that is what the other side looks like. Beautiful glass in country. Man. 
made it to the top, made it to camp. Two water bottles down, eight to go, or nine to go. Ben's father-in-law got his tent set up, canvas cover. Ben's over here. You're gonna be over there. I'm gonna be somewhere. So, got a fire pit, cook food tonight, and uh, it was a rough one getting up here, but I'm gonna set up tent and uh, I'm gonna try to find a shady spot so I can take a nap because we just drove 13 hours and hiked up here for three hours. So, no bucks yet, but we're gonna set up camp, rest for a little bit, and then uh, it'll be on for the evening hunt. So thirsty. So Jeez, thirsty. Look at this. Jerky pouch. Marsupial. It's a marsupial pouch for jerky. Alright, we're going to kill a buck now. Hopefully. Alright, guys. I have spotted the first deer of the trip. I'm on it, Ben. I'll get you guys. Nope. Oh, it is a buck. I believe. I was gonna say it looked like a buck to me. Yeah, it is. Let's see how big he is. Okay. Give me the, give me the, oh, you're in the wrong, I'm in the wrong cut, bro. It ain't my fault, bro. Yeah, it is. Mm, maybe a doe. Alright guys, well, it's a doe, but first deer spotted after a nice little cat nap under a huge shade tree overlooking the awesome valley. So, deer are starting to move now, hopefully. So, hopefully put some eyes on a big buck here in the next few hours. Find it, Ben? No. Bro. Your, your directions are terrible. Okay. Alright guys, I found a buck. Now I just gotta figure out what it is. Have they moved? He's still, there. He's still in the bush? Yep, there's a doe right below him. Dude, he's big, look at this. Well, he looks big from here, but a long way from here. Yep. All right, guys. He's. Well, he looks big from here, but a long way. Twelve hundred yards. All right, guys. He's big. Ben's thinking he's like one ten. So we gotta figure out how big we're gonna get to him. Threes. Yeah, dude, he's big. That's a big buck. Twelve hundred yards. We gotta close the distance on this buck. We got time. That's a good thing. Which, yeah, that is a big deer. He's got a kicker on his right side. Do you see that? Beautiful. Do you see that? Yeah, it's it G three. Like, it's G three. Is like that long. Alright, we gotta do something. Alright. 105 at least. Yep, at least. That's all you can ask for. 
It's a giant buck. All right, guys, we're making a move. Back down to 800-ish yards. So me and Ben are gonna go down there. See if we can glass them up from down there, and these guys are gonna stay up here, stay on them. Head up. He, he yeah, his head up. He's he's facing okay. facing us. Out wide open on the in the yellow grass to the right of the snag in the sunlight, right at the edge in of the, the sunlight. sunlight. Oh, see. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay, now he's standing there. Okay. Oh gosh, that looked like you hit him, but you may have hit. Well, Mike, uh, yeah, we were so close. That's such a long shot, but he, he, I've seen him make long shots like that before. And uh, talk about just hairs away. I mean, 800 yards, but we do know that it is not a lethal. So, maybe find that buck tomorrow. Now we gotta hike back. Well guys, made it back to camp finally. Got a fire going. We're gonna eat some food. And uh, hit the hay. Hit it early in the morning. We'll see y'all in the morning. What's for dinner, Ben? Oh, we got some jalapeno cheddar bratwurst. With some creamy sriracha. That's all I'm talking about. Packing in the goods. Mm -hmm. Game time. Next morning. Mm -hmm. Slept terrible. Sun's coming up. <laughs> A little morning jerky. Uh huh. And some mountain ops in a Taco Bell sunflower seed bag. glass this morning was just super wind blown been saw one doe bedded in the bottom so we're gonna try to get to a new glassing spot that's blocked by the wind and hopefully they're up feeding and not bedded down by this wind but these deer don't like to move in this wind because they can't hear and uh, it's hard for them to watch out for predators so like me
100 yards. Got a good buck. He's not the biggest in the unit by any means, but I told uh, Ben I was only going to be here for about two days, so this is the second morning. And if he steps out, we're shooting him. We don't know what he is yet, but don't know. we'll find out. He's got a decent frame. Hello. Just licking his back. You see him? Okay. Yep. Oh, got him. Got him. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Dropping him? All right, guys. Yeah. Well, Ben just found a big, bigger deadhead than the buck I just shot. But uh, man, I just compensated too much for this wind and hit him far back. But we didn't see him come out of where he went into. Um, and I think we would have been able to see him come out if he did. So we're gonna give him some time. It'll take us about an hour to get over there too. So I think he's down. Just 20 mile an hour wind today as y'all can probably hear. But hopefully he's down and uh, it's a beautiful place. Having a good time with the boys. Been fun, man. Been real fun. Big old two point deadhead. I think he's a three on this side. Yeah. And then if he has that G1. Yeah, he's nice. Could be good. So what you're saying is we're both packing out bucks? Packing out bucks, dude. Yeah, I got 
got him, baby. He's dead. Heck yeah, boys. First cues ever. Grab this other horn. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Long, dude. Yes, sir. Thank you, boys. Damn, you're not pretty. He's beautiful, man. Yeah, he's pretty. Thank you, buddy. Oh, that is awesome. Take that all day. Yes, sir. All right, guys, tag time. Huge thanks to these guys for helping out. Ben is the master glasser, but I will say I spotted he, this buck. He, he outdid it. He went probably 80 yards from where we last saw him. Yeah, or 100. Yeah, 100. 80 to 100. He tumbled probably 40 though. So, time to tag him and then uh, we're gonna clean him up and pack out of here, go eat some backstrap for lunch, do a little catch, clean, and cook for you guys, and then uh, pack up camp and get out of here, go get a shower. That's how you do it. guys we're packed up we got to go to the top of that up there and then over and then we're back at camp eating back shot for lunch An hour and 15 minutes. Ben fine. said 30 minutes. I said an hour and a half. I could have done it 30 if I wanted to, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, we're going to get everything. We're going to chill for a minute, and then we're going to cook some backstrap for lunch. Oh, yeah. You got it no is. water? Yes, sir. I think so. All right, let's load it up. It is uh, time to dump all of our food. So we need a little... Dear me, we got soups going, we got brats, we got a fire going. And I brought some critter glitter. So I'm gonna take my fine old stick right here. Me a little shabab, shish kebab. We got some critter glitter Cajun in a muzzle loader powder tube. I'm gonna season it up real nice, like. Oh, that look good. And we're gonna cook this puppy up. I'll give y'all a taste of this one. 
So we're waiting on our meat to cook. We're gonna try do a one out of ten on the teriyaki beef stir fry. See what it tastes like. Oh my gosh. It's good, dude. That's a ten out of ten up yeah. here. What's yours? What do you rate yours? I threw some sriracha in mine and it's it's right there. I'd say nine out of ten. Hmm. I think I'd go for a brat and tortilla. Over this? Mm -hmm. No way. Yeah. No. Good. All right. First batch is done. My knife is getting dull on me. Perfectly cooked. It always tastes so much better on the mountain. Here you go, Ben. Oh yeah. You come I need a fresh pallet. And it's it's not even backstrap, it's a hind quarter. Oh man. Shish kebobbed over the fire. Delicious. Eight out of ten. Alright guys, we're packed up. We're headed off the mountain. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's epic. Huge thanks to Ben and his father-in-law for helping out. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.